welcome to Misha's Corner. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious broccoli cheddar garlic bread. Uh, these are the ingredients that you'll need. Of course, you can switch up the cheeses, you already know. All ingredient measurements will be in my description box, so make sure you check that out. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if, if you haven't. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Yeah, I'm using raw garlic today, okay? We're doing raw garlic. So I'm gonna chop up my garlic pretty much right now. I'm just prepping everything, but I'm gonna chop my garlic super, super duper fine. Almost getting to a paste, but super fine just like this. Now I do have a recipe that already has roasted garlic in it for the garlic bread I made previously. So I'll link that below if you wanna check it out. But for this recipe, I went with raw garlic and you know, it was great. If you're not a garlic lover, leave it out. You get the point. So now I'm gonna prep the bread. This bread was freshly made, y'all. When I got to the supermarket, it was still warm. They were putting them out. Fresh made, delicious. So I'm gonna use the bread knife and cut right down to the center, just like this. You could probably use whatever baguette you want to, but like I said, these were the ones that they were putting out. So now I'm gonna take out some of the insides of the bread. Don't worry, I didn't waste it. I'm actually gonna use it for croutons. So now I'm gonna prep the broccoli. I'm gonna add it to some boiling water. Usually I add some salt, but I'm not this time because of all that cheese and you know everything. You do not need extra salt anywhere. Do not add salt to nothing. Um, as usual, I tell y'all, once the water comes back up to a boil like this, you count to 90 seconds and remove your broccoli. And that's, you know, if you don't cook your broccoli like Misha's Corner, don't come over here. Go clock out. Okay? If you're not a 90-second girl, go clock out. All right? We're we not playing with y'all over here, okay? <laughs> but you want to add it to an ice bath to stop the cooking process because it is going to cook again, obviously, in the oven. So you don't want to overcook it in the boiling process. And now I'm just going to chop it up. You could do big pieces, small pieces. I just, yeah, I just played around with it a bit and just chopped it up child um but you can use bigger pieces if you prefer it's all gonna get mixed in and that's pretty much how i did it by the way this bread was so delicious you guys <laughs> if i end up making thanksgiving dinner for a few um of my supporters or customers i don't, I don't like calling people customers um but i'm definitely gonna make this as a appetizer because it was just it was great it's rich, but it's great. And you um, just cut it up into small pieces and it's like the perfect appetizer before any meal. This is the only spice I'm gonna use as well, some onion powder. Again, if you wanna season it, go ahead, but please be careful with the sodium. There's a lot of cheese going on. My butter is salted, so you just don't need anything super salty at all. Um, so I'm gonna start putting everything together. I had my softened butter four ounces of both cheese, all my garlic. Y'all, the garlic was so like, bow, in your face. <laughs> it was so good, you guys. I hope y'all give it a try for real, for real. Um, added my broccoli, the seasoning, and you just wanna mix this up. You wanna be careful and gentle. You know, it did take me like a few minutes, y'all, to really get it mixed up and good to go, but not a few minutes, but more than a few seconds and it was good to go the broccoli was also enough i thought i didn't have enough because i only did one crown this was actually a really big baguette um so yeah this baguette by the way you guys with the way i'm making it it could probably be enough for 10 to 12 people if you cut it properly and everyone gets like a slice or two like i said it's rich it's not like oh eh, i didn't taste nothing let me go in and get two and three more pieces no when you take one piece honey uh-uh you 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 get your life in one piece okay um so i'm gonna smear it all over like don't be scared don't be stingy smear okay right now my oven is preheated to 375 degrees it is hot next i'm gonna sprinkle on just a little smidgen more cheese just a little smidgen not much i will say it's optional though but i just wanted my broccoli to stick and that's why i put like a little bit of cheese on top like I'm doing here. It wasn't much. It's just a little something, something. And then I added some pieces of broccoli on top for presentation. That's pretty much why I did it. Again, it's optional. If you don't care how it look, don't do it. It's like I said. Um, so now I'm going to pop it into the oven. And y'all, look at this. Look at this. Y'all. Listen, the holiday season is coming around. We didn't even get, to get into the holiday tea yet. We didn't get into it yet. I hope y'all... <laughs> We ain't getting into the holiday tea yet, okay? Um, just so you guys know. Hmm. 
so now I'm just going to chop it up. I had to get the cleavage out because I already ran my dishwasher. <laughs> and look how beautiful and golden brown this looks. Y'all, look, 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 look at that cheese. Oh, now you tell me. You in the comments, tell me how many pieces of this you think you're going to eat. Okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for your support. And I will catch you on my next video. Bye!